Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano Channel. I am Dano, and we're looking at another Star Wars Vintage Collection action figure. Today it's going to be Cara Dune from Star Wars The Mandalorian, as played by Gina Carano. I've had this figure for a while. This actually came out, I want to say, earlier in the year. It was a little bit hard to find, but I did get one. I did get It was hard to find then, but then when I went to... Um, downtown Disney. I visited twice during this whole pandemic business, and it was one of the visits, it might have been both of the visits, where I saw just a ton, a ton of Cara Dune vintage collection figures on the pegs. So, before we get into the review of the actual figure, let's take a look at the outside of the box. Okay, we've got our Star Wars The Mandalorian logo, a little choking hazard for and up, Cara Dune, the beautiful Gina Carano, really cool artwork, Kenner logo, which of course they got to do the old school throwback. And there's a look at the figure. There's a look at our figure. It looks like she comes with her gun. Basically the same accessories that her uh, Black Series figure came with. And maybe we'll bust that one out and kind of take a look at both of them side by side. But let's take a look at the back of the box. This is what was in this series. Mando, which I never got that Mando. I did get Kara. I did get a Remnant Stormtrooper. I didn't get any clones. I got the Sith Trooper. I got Shadow Trooper. I got Jawa. And I did not pick up Leia Organa. But just so you know, it is approved by zero to three sad babies, and this is vintage collection number 164. All right, now as always, as I'm opening this thing up, I like to mention the Amazon links. They are affiliate links. I, if I can find this figure, I will post an affiliate link as a pinned comment below. And if any of you guys do any shopping through those Amazon links, um, then I get a credit for it. Like, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it goes to support the channel. And it's one of the many ways that I do things to kind of help the collection grow and keep videos coming for you guys. So, if you're an Amazon shopper and you want to start your shopping session on that link, it's not necessary, but it is greatly appreciated. And again, you don't even have to buy the toys that I link to. You can buy anything. Alright, let's get her out of here. She's got her little black... Yeah, very simple. I like it when these things open simply, and it's not too much of a... I say that as I'm like struggling with the blaster. <laughs> it's not too much of a hassle. <laughs> All right. Oh, she looks good. She looks good. Very simple. Let's just get the light box out and take a close-up look for you. Okay, so there we have Miss Gina Carano, Miss Cara Dune. Looking pretty cool. Now, that face tattoo is a little big. But the face likeness is actually really good, in my opinion. I think that's pretty nice. It's a good-looking figure. All the details seem to be there. There's some, you see the paint weathering on the boots. That's actually cool. That's not something that's on the Black Series figure. So that's a little bit nice. Notice the knife there. It is in the boot, but it's not something that's removable like the Black Series figure. But it is, it, it's a good, that's a good looking figure, man. I think the sculpt's good. The likeness is great. There's the, the her little repeater rifle that she carries around with her. And of course, she's got her hand on her blaster, ready to go at any moment. Some nice details there on the upper side of the boots. Now, I, I wanted to show you this in comparison. Actually, I'm going to lay her down. In comparison to the Black Series version, uh, just so you guys can really, really, really get a better look as to what the what the differences are here. Okay, now, see, where I was saying that there's weathering on the boots here? There's, like, dirt and kind of scuffs they put on there. They did not do that on the Black Series version. But when it comes to, like, the knee little things... Oh, they did put some weathering on here. It's not the same kind. It's a little different. But they did put weathering on just the same. How about the texture on the pants? So this is a darker color. A little bit darker. And this one's more of a gray. So again, there are some differences. But they both come with the same accessories. They both come with the same kind of blaster. Kind of turn her around here. We can take a look at that blaster a little better. Pardon my, my shoddy camera work. I'm working in a very tight space here. Now her blaster is a little warped. It's a little warped. You can see there. But I'm sure we can kind of get that back to normal. And you got her arm stripes looking good. Looking pretty good. Yeah. Good looking figure. I like all the details. Again, this is the Black Series version. I don't. I think I did a review on it. But notice the, the tattoo on the face here. Is it just about as big as it is over here? What's up with that? What's going on? Why is it like the same size? Either way, pretty cool looking figures. And I like them. So one of my big tests when it comes to figures is can they pose? Can I pose them? Do they stand upright? And I got to tell you, this is kind of a pain in the butt 
to get her in this pose, the slightest thing will throw it off. But she does look good posed, doesn't she? She looks good. Like, I'm going to set her up in some dioramas next to Din Djarin. And I think she's going to look really, really awesome. All right. Well, that is our look at Drop Trooper Kara Cynthia Dune Vintage Collection Action Figure. For me, this is a thumbs up. I think the likeness looks good. Posability took a little work, but it's decent and it's workable. A little bit better than Moff Gideon was, honestly. So, I'm glad I finally opened this up. It's going to look good in dioramas. Hopefully you can see some shots or pictures here. Maybe if I got around to it. And, guys, I want to know your thoughts. Do you like this figure? Do you like, I mean, aside from personal politics, let's maybe leave that out. Because I know Gina Carano has been troublesome to some. Um, so, maybe not regarding the actress, but regarding the character. Cara Dune, what do you think? What do you think of this figure? It's thumbs up for me. I like it. I like it. I like it. Do you think she's going to be in that Rangers of the New Republic show? It's been rumored. It's been rumored that it's going to revolve around her, but I don't know if she can carry a whole show. I don't, I don't think she's got the acting chops. I think she's great from what we've seen in The Mandalorian. I really like her in The Mandalorian, um, but I don't know that it's enough to carry a whole show. But who knows? It's called Rangers of the New Republic. So let me know your thoughts on that, your thoughts on Cara Dune, what you want to see next. And thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, don't be a move milker. Don't be, just don't do it. Don't be a move milker. Be the spark. Inspire other people to do cool, awesome things. Hopefully some of my toy photography that I've done on Instagram and shown off inspired you to do similar. Bust out some light pucks. Set them up in your backyard. Do cool pictures. Whatever you can do would be really awesome. And share them with me on Instagram. If you guys take cool toy photos, I'll try and share them. I'll try and share. If they're like cool, like, well, you know, neat. I'll try and share them. Yeah, no, I think it's cool. If that means it inspires you guys to do something cool and creative, yeah, let's do it. I'll share them. I want to get the word out. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, special shout out to the patrons and channel members. You guys rock, my squad leaders. And until next time, like I said, don't be a move milker, but be the spark for other people. Do it. That's it. No mas.